Here's how I created this scribble effect using Video Leap. First, on a green piece of paper lit as evenly as possible, I recorded myself scribbling with a large black marker. Next, on a white paper, I scribbled with red, green, and blue, and took pictures of each scribble. Next, I taped my phone to the ceiling and laid on the ground to create a flat bass clip. Finally, I taped my phone to the ceiling over my desk and recorded a few seconds of myself sitting in front of a green square of paper. Then I opened Video Leap and created a new project with my bass clip. I then navigated to filters and chose ST2 to turn it black and white. I then selected the clip and adjusted the exposure and contrast. Then I imported one of the green screen scribble clips, dragged it into the mixer layer, and then used the arrange tool to bring it above the filter layer. I trimmed it to the right position and then navigated to mask tool and use a linear mask to get rid of the unwanted section. Next, I navigated to the chroma tool and keyed out the green. Adjusting the intensity and the shadow until the lines looked as sharp as possible. I then repositioned the clip and adjusted its contrast, saturation, tint, and hue to get rid of any remaining green. I then imported two other green screen scribble clips and repeated this process. However, this time I trimmed them so that they were just the static drawings, no hand movement. I then navigated to the duplicate tool and copied each static shot two times to create an animated effect. Next, I imported all of the colored scribble photos. I selected the first one and dragged it up to the mixer layer and arranged it on top. Next, I navigated to the blending tool and selected multiply, which removed all of the white. There was a little bit of gray left over, so I used a circular mask and feathered the edges to blend it in. I then repeated these steps for all of the photos, trimming them to the same duration as the green screen scribble clips and duplicating them each twice to create movement. Here's the final result. Next, I exported this sequence at the highest resolution possible. I then created a new project and imported the overhead desk shot. I adjusted it so it was centered and brought it up to the mixer layer where I used the chroma tool to remove the green paper. Next, I imported the earlier sequence directly underneath and resized it to the dimensions of the paper. Then I created a zoom animation by starting at the beginning of the timeline adding a keyframe, and then moving a few seconds down the timeline and resizing the clips so the paper filled the frame. I repeated this for the bottom layer, tracking back through the animation and adjusting the clip so it kept the same speed. Finally, I duplicated the top layer, dragged it to the end of the sequence, and reversed it. I then used keyframes to animate the bottom layer in reverse of what I did at the beginning. And here's the final result.